Hello guys, um, this is Romain and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use a random access file in a Java the right and proper way. I know everyone is crazy about this section in Java but I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. So you will need three classes, a record class, a collect info class and an access file class. So basically the record class is the class which will want to store to the file. So we will create an object of this class and store it to a file. So I have already typed this code already. So I'm just going to explain it to you guys so you understand it. I'm also going to leave a copy of this project in the description below. So you can download it and analyze it reverse engineer it whatever you guys want to do with it okay so um here we have an integer we have an array of characters item name description size and a scanner now i'm going to explain why i did this and um later so right here we have a public a private void right fixed length string class basically with what this method does is that um whenever we collect a user input this class will validate if that um input if that string input is okay to be written to the file so basically in the parameter already we have um a character array so we have a string variable value and an int which is size we have a counter variable and we have length which is the length of the string so this is what we are going to use to determine the length of the string so the value which is the string dot length which is which will give us the length of the string so right here if the string is less than size we will want let length be equal to this basically this question mark means it's a while card it's like an else so if value that length is less than size we we'll want to let length be equal to value length be equal to length if not if value length is greater than size we we'll want to reduce the size of of the input by the user so for instance if you input romaine and the file was only to take um five characters for romaine you know you will left off the en and write it to the file which we won't want that so after you get the length which is here you will you will want to store um the user the user string input to the array which you have created Feel. So for iterate equal to zero, iterate is less than length, which is here. We want to increment and feel is equal to iterate. So this is at index zero, so at index zero in the array, which is equal to value dot char at iterate means if you have romaine as a string which you use at input at zero you will have r so on the first loop field zero one will be equal to r on the second loop field index one will be equal to o and so on and uh, and after we have finished this loop the, the last counting value will be equal to a null value which is okay right here this is my um default constructor right here is my primary constructor i like to re reuse my code so that's the reason why i've set id is equal to id right here and so on and this is my copy constructor same reuse of code so this is the basically the normal get and set right here you guys know that um int name is an array an array of characters so to get it back 
public string, get ID name, return new string ID name. So this is very good data ID. So the, the the user might think is entering string, but basically it's character. If you get my drift. Now, now we are going to test. So right here, write fixed length string, which is here. We are going to test. So if this ID name, item name, this, to represent this is the variable of the, 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 the class, the item name is equal, is item name, which is this, with the input which you get from the user, and this is the value which you expect to be less done when the user inputs it input a string into our program so as you can see we have array string and the size and it's the same procedure for each string now this is a two two string function which can be found at insert code to string um, to string it's supposed to be here uh, the reason why I don't see it is maybe because I've used it already so to string turns all the methods into a string to be displayed to the main class so collect info this is where I will want to collect the info from the user it will all make sense in due time guys don't worry so I want to call it the ID next line is because if we take an integer from the user and then we will want to take a string it will skip over the next um, next input because we will need to flush that memory space so we do this in Java by just inserting in next line to do so. Move the pointer to our next line. Even though in Java we don't have pointer, but just for reference sake. So enter item name description. The same procedure here. I know you guys are not new at Java. Now we need to go into a random access file. Now I have created my random access file methods in my main class. So right here you have private static void. This is the method to write to the file the function. To write to the file. So write record. This accepts an record variable which is data as a parameter. We have created a new file object which is file which we initialize to null. And right here which we have file is equal to new random access file which is which is equal to a new file which is equal to this what we're doing right here is creating a new file we're creating a new record and rw is the writing mode so we write mode right here where we have dot seek um bracket data that get id minus 500 times record size basically what this is saying is that this is where our file will be located right here this is where we'll, we will want to store our object that we are storing to that file in a particular location so basically the ID we're going to, going to get the ID from the record area so data that get ID minus the offset so basically the offset is like if you have a range of ID numbers from 500 to 1000, you know that you won't want to give an use an ID number like 450 because that will give us an off key value. So, so we want to um, divide the 500 by the ID number and times it by the record that size, which is right here that we have created. This is because we want to give each object its own unique address on the file. So right here we have file dot write data get data ID which is how which is here and 
write UTF which is um, an encoder for string UTF so you guys just look at the code and um, you will catch on eventually now in the final block we have if file is not equal to null try to close the file if the file doesn't close throw an exception now this is the method which we will use to read from the file so it will take in an integer in its parameter we will want to um, create a random access file object which will initialize to null we will also want to create a record class variable which is data which will also be equal to null so what you can do you can copy this code from here and paste it here to avoid any errors and the file seek it does the same thing the ID number it will search the file for that position now we have created some variables right here to store um, the information that we will be reading from the file and notice we will read in the same order which we have stored to the file if you try to do otherwise you will get an error or your file will return null and I'm, I'm sure you don't want that up you don't want that to happen so um, you read the record back in the same order so ID string string description ID number ID so read int read UTF meaning string and then data object we have data variable for the record class which you have created which will be equal to data which is equal to new record and we will store each of these variables into the record class now we will also want to return it because here we have record to, rec to return read record now in our main class where we have collect info this, which is this class which we have collect which we use to collect the information from the user the accept function method which is here and so once this part of the code has been executed it will prompt the user to enter their ID and so on once you have done that you will want to store what they have that what you have got from the user into the record class so we do this by record so is equal to new record col dot get id which is the id get item name get description and we want to write back this object to the file because as you can see it takes in a record as a parameter so where you have um get id which will be equal to the id which you, you got from the user in this class pay attention guys you will minus it by 500 um, times it by record size to give it its unique location on the file so after after we have written all of this information to the file to read it you will only need to create a record variable minus out read and the id number which you which will the id number which you wish to read from system dot out to display the information so enter id number so five five hundred and twelve item name red description blue and as you can see id number five twelve red description blues which we have just input so thanks for watching if you don't understand it leave a comment below i will do it step by step but the video will be much longer i will leave a description to this project in the description below like this guys if you found it helpful thanks for watching and um later